Have you ever wanted to be able to read people's body language, communicate with people better, and actually understand what their face is telling you without actually even having to ask them? Well, I want something pretty special right here. Alan Stevens, who is known as the celebrity profiler, but he actually is more than that. He's actually probably one of the only people in the globe that right now can look at anyone's face and know exactly more about them than what they probably do themselves. Just imagine what a skill set that is to have, to be able to improve your conversations, improve your communication, influence people to get the outcomes that you're looking for, have better relationships with people, lead people better. Alan, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you very much. So tell people, when I say the art of reading people, what does that actually mean? What do you actually do? Well, what you're looking at doing is understanding a person more fully. And one of the things that will give you a lot of detail is actually their facial uh, features. Now, when you look at their uh, facial features, that's a history of how they like to think and process. So the ridges and the crevices. So if you look at that, you understand things like the amount of space that they require, how much information they want to be told. Yeah. And then you actually have the language and how you then speak to those traits. And at the same time, then how you actually monitor that to pick up their body language and their expressions that tell you just how accurate you've picked it up. Yeah, lovely. I think that's a key thing, because when I first met Alan, I tried to keep a very straight face so he couldn't read me, but it actually had nothing to do with how I was looking right now. As you said, it's the lines, it's the crevices, it's the things that we've been doing for all of our life, which actually you can then understand a particular trait someone has. That's right. And I believe every trait has a positive or a negative, so it doesn't really matter what your trait is, it just is what it is. That's exactly right. So let's pick one, pick one trait, because I know there's 82 traits. We, we won't go through all of them. What's one? Well, one of them would be the actual width of the face itself. That tells you the person's uh, level of confidence. So some people have a very high level of confidence, innate, inbuilt. So they hear something for the first time and they go, great, got it. The downside of that trait is we don't know whether they've got it until they're put to the test. Yeah. So if you're actually teaching somebody who's got the, the wider face, the higher level of confidence, we, um, we'll ask them a few questions. Well, if, if you've got that, well, how would you actually apply that and get some feedback from them? If you've got somebody who's got a very narrow face, then they're somebody who builds their confidence by doing things over and over. Yeah, so the more they repeat, the more they actually build their confidence. So if you're speaking to somebody who's got a narrow face and they're talking very confidently, you know they know their stuff. So you're pretty much wasting your time trying to catch them out. Yeah, brilliant. So when you say the width of the face, what am I really looking at there? The actual measurement is looking through the, the width here, because everyone's face changes in this area in the, in the width. But through the uh, skeletal structure, that doesn't change much at all. So it's that width compared to the length of the face. So natural turn of the forehead. So while people are looking at this video, for instance, I'll see a little bit of glare. That's where my uh, the top of my forehead is and down to the uh, chin. So I'm looking for the grade, the difference between that and this. Okay, so if I'm, and I'm learning here at the same time and mm -hmm. using it, so I go the width is longer than going that way. So does that mean your face is narrower or well, wider? I would hope sure, that this is longer than that because otherwise <laughs> I'd have a, yeah. a very squashed head. But you'll see that some people might be very round. So they look almost the same, but you will find that when this area is only 60% of that, then you're looking at somebody who has got the narrow face. Yeah, great. If it's over the 70%, you have somebody who has the wider face. In between, that uh, particular position is the mediator between the two. They'll work very well with the wide face, and at the same time be able to work well with the narrow face, where the high confidence and builds confidence may not get on with each other. Yep. because one to the other seems a little bit slow in doing things, while the other one looks at the other and goes, well, you're a bit too cocky about things. Yep. Yeah, brilliant. So as Alan has just sort of showed there, like that's one trait of, you know, I think he said 82? Yeah. 82 traits. Imagine if you understood how to be able to read people's faces without them even having to verbally talk and be able to um, allow you to influence and communicate more effectively by understanding that skill set. We've been doing it now for a couple of months now and the results are certainly coming through. Um, just in the last six weeks, we've signed up uh, close to around about sixty, seventy thousand dollars worth of training programs and coaching programs. The most notable thing that I've had within my business is my conversion rate on sales. I ran at about a 50% conversion rate, which is pretty good and 
I've taken that up to around about 80%, 80 to 90% now. Straight away, I knew it was something that I needed to do. My industry, in the finance industry, sales and, and adding value and creating value is so important. And um, straight away, I, I, I knew if, if, if I was able to understand a little bit more about the clients uh, before they even opened their mouths, I could tailor my sales pitch uh, to, to the clients. Mate, it was so inspiring. I actually got the rest of my team to do it. And it really talks about how to actually profile people and understand people so you can build better rapport with them. And what it's done for me, just to actually know my team a little bit better and, and sometimes just to know myself a little bit better, it's made an amazing difference. And then to take that to the next stage of actually thinking about how am I actually going to do that and help uh, understand my clients and uh, customers a lot better. So I use these, these tips and tools to be able to better communicate with uh, potential clients and existing clients and it also helped me because I run workshops globally and it helps me to be able to in that instant be able to connect with my audience and uh, I found it absolutely powerful the information. It has not only helped me in my professional life but also in my private life as well with my uh, friends and my family. So I have no hesitation in recommending anybody to do uh, any program that Alan Stevens does. Um, he certainly has a, a tremendous gift and uh, yeah, anyone who does their program will certainly benefit uh, uh, the rewards out. I've spent the last few months in India and came across these two young boys who just need a little bit of medical attention but who we also got to know quite well over the course of time that we were here. Um, we don't speak Hindi and they don't speak English so it's been communicating via hand gestures and just getting to know them and their personality without language. So that's been quite fun and interesting. But when Alan got back to me with the profile of these two boys, the more we got to know them, the more we realized that what Alan had written to me was completely spot on. Uh, what Alan does crosses cultural boundaries, language barriers, and also it doesn't matter what the, your background or your social standing is because he was able to give us clear and really accurate readings on their personality traits, their natural abilities and their gifts. I had Alan profile both myself uh, and also my girlfriend and we sat down and we had an awesome report which Alan kindly gave to us as well as a follow-up phone call as well and it completely detailed all my different personality traits and also all of hers. And we both read our own reports, uh, we then swapped and we highlighted all the key areas which we believed were going to be conflicts of each other and it actually made it a really nice experience to be able to not only know how I tick a little bit better with some of the traits that I have but then to sit down with your partner and laugh at how spot on Alan was with some of the traits, some of the mannerisms, some of the characteristics. I knew straight away and I couldn't help but laugh at some of the things and how true it was. So to then take that away and put together some form of a working relationship with the both of her and I and just be a little bit more front of mind of, okay, well, I know that she's going to react in a certain way if I don't do this or how can I treat this situation a little bit differently based on what her traits are. So I found it very, very informative. It was a really fun experience to do. I think it's just absolutely unbelievable. If you want to know more about Alan, Alan um, is being tagged into this video. You can click on his name, check him out, find out more and see how he can actually help you, whether it be around your communication with other people, whether that be family, friends, partner at, in the workplace, whether it be to improve your conversations around your sales, your conversions, whether it just be to influence and get to the outcome you're looking for far quicker. I know they're the sorts of things that these traits help you achieve. Thank you so much for joining me.